Well, as we know, it is part of summertime. We get the sun and the fun, but we also know that it comes with the oppressive heat, particularly here in late summer, and we're in it now. And with the high temperatures comes the risk of severe storms, but there are ways to protect ourselves and our homes. Meteorologist Jessica Van Meter shows us some products that Consumer Reports recommends we use. Climate change brings more frequent and destructive weather from coast to coast. That's led to a dramatic increase in many homeowners insurance policies. But that price hike doesn't mean you're getting more coverage. Homeowners insurance generally doesn't cover water coming from outside of your house, so it's not a bad idea to supplement your coverage with a flood policy. Even without a flood, extreme heat can damage water in surprising ways, specifically with your plumbing take metal pipes. They can expand and contract and over time leak. You want to inspect your plumbing routinely or have a plumber do it on a recurring basis. You can also install leak detectors which will let you know immediately if there is a leak. They can be a little bit expensive to install but save thousands in the long run. Consumer Reports recommends this leak detector from Moen. Extreme heat can wreak havoc on your roofing even when the weather is dry. It's essential to inspect it look for damaged shingles or tiles and replace them before they leak and cause more damage. The heat could overtax your air conditioning system. Regularly replacing the air filters and scheduling routine professional maintenance will help avoid pricey repairs later on. High heat and humidity can also create the ideal conditions for mold and mildew. You want to keep the humidity inside your home between 30 and 50%. Anything higher and mold and dust mites can thrive. CR tests dozens of humidifiers and found that this Medea for larger rooms does a great job of removing water from the air, which helps maintain the ideal humidity in your home. This is Jessica Van Meter. I'm going to make one suggestion on yes, that. Yes, it's open. We're open for If suggestions. you're going to be inspecting your roof. Yes. And you're going to be out with binoculars. <laughs> Yeah, be careful. In your neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. You may want to let the neighbors know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Why is Betsy looking in my window right now? <laughs> <laughs> Just standing looking at my house. Yeah. And beyond. Uh, it, but it is good. That you have to do that every you once do. in a while. You have to yeah. make sure everything is in order. Especially after the storms that we have had. We too. have had some doozies. And if you're concerned about power outages, this is always a good idea. Portable generator can always help with the uh, keep the essentials in your home going. Refrigerator is really big because, as we saw, after two or three days, everything in there is a loss. Just make sure you know how to properly get it started, plug it in, yeah. and unplug it and get your system back online or else you're going to be surging it up. Uh, also, you're going to want to store a generator in a clean, dry, and ventilated mm -hmm. spot that, can access, that you can access easily, but it's not necessarily attached to the house. You want to have at least 10 gallons of fresh gas on hand in a safety container. Yes. So there's fuel stabilizer that can help with that. Too. Yeah, well, it ex extends the life of the gasoline. Bad gas could ruin the generator. Right. We've had you know? that here. We have a huge generator for the station. And, right. You know, if we get into long-term things, we literally have to back the truck up and make sure that we have enough gas. This so. is true. Yikes.